Thanks for joining us. We are Alive at Five. We are ready to get your thoughts on our special Halloween show today. But first, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a follow on Facebook if you want to get in on the conversation. This one is a good one. I'm here with Caitlin Ross and Cheryl Preheim. Ladies, today, one question. Can you be too old to trick or treat? No. I'm going in hard on this. It's oh. straight no. I say if you want to dress up and come to my door, I'm giving you a candy bar every single time. It's interesting. I have a, a child who just turned 13, and he's on the fence about it. He's like, I don't know if I'm going to go. So to be determined. But that probably may be from the perspective of, you know, I'm, I'm becoming too. Do you want too, to go? I'm yeah. too old for this. Right. I, you know, I don't want to go with my little brother in his <laughs> Batman costume. I'm, I'm the cool kids. But for me, I think I went until I was at least sick. I mean, all throughout high school. I don't remember a time in high school not trick-or-treating. Yeah. And you're 17 or 18 in high school. Mm -hmm. I still thought I was a kid. I wasn't paying any bills or anything. Right, exactly. And you're just out there to have fun. I thought it was my rite of passage. So here is why we're asking you this question, because there's a city in Virginia that says kids over the age of 14 cannot trick or treat. If you do, they say you could face a level four misdemeanor there. But this has been upgraded from last year. Last year, the age limit was 13 there. However, they came back because this started an all out outcry on social media and in that community because last year there was some jail time attached to it. Now, ladies, they do say it was in an effort to yeah. curb teen violence and, you know, sort of the more tricks during mm -hmm. Halloween from that age group. Yeah. yeah, well, it scared them away because at that point it was like 12 or 13 and they said up to six months in jail <laughs> and a fine. Now, police said, listen, we weren't trying to enforce it necessarily. We were just trying to get the message across, but they backed off it a little bit. You love Halloween, so <laughs> I just see you <laughs> wanting to talk about it. Because I think this is outrageous. Let kids trick or treat. It's fun. I do understand if kids are causing trouble, I think that's the exception, not the rule. I think there's always going to be a few people who are going to smash pumpkins and throw eggs, but why let that ruin it for everybody else? I think that this is a holiday that's about fun. It's about dressing up like your favorite person, your heroes. Maybe I'll be Cheryl Preheim or Aisha Howard for Halloween next year, but let people do it. Let them have fun. All right. Yeah. Should there be an age limit for trick-or-treating? A lot of you have an opinion about this. Let's get right to our comments. Let's start with Jennifer, who says, I'd say 16. She thinks 16 is the cutoff. If you're old enough to work and drive to get your own candy bar, <laughs> then it's about time to stop. 14 is a bit young, though, she said. Yeah, 14 is a bit young. I'm thinking myself at 14. You're like a kid kid. Mm -hmm. Like, you still are going to dress up, too. I don't agree with you trick-or-treating. You didn't dress up, though. Ooh. That's true. Gotta have a costume. Yeah, okay. I, need, I need you to have a costume. You have to have a costume. And I think a lot of the people who are in the comments are talking about trying to curb that crime. Let's get to the next commenter here. This one is Cassie, who's talking about she read up on this and she understands that they did want to cut back on egging houses, teaching sure. trees, things like that. But she says, look, if teens are respectfully trick or treating, there's no issue with that. She doesn't understand why the law was written that mm. way. And I agree, Cassie, abolish the law. Christy <laughs> Brown Underwood is with Caitlin on this one. She says, who cares how old they are? She thinks they should go at any age. They are still kids in my eyes until they graduate. As long as they leave the littles alone and don't egg my house, let them get some free candy. Yeah, I hope you guys have a safe and fun Halloween. And you know, in that town, I hope it does come back because I could imagine mm -hmm. that really rained on the whole Halloween oh, sure. situation yeah, that, there that in Virginia. That story rained on my parade so much. Yeah. I actually went to a wholesaler and bought two giant <laughs> sized candy bars. Like I am handing out the big guns this year. Ooh, I'm giving the full size candy bars. Rain. <laughs> All right, it's raining I here in my big family to your house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think my 13 year old would be like on board for that. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. We want to know what you think about this. Keep the conversation going. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post here every weekday. Follow us on our social media pages. We love it when you are part of our conversation. Have a good one. Yeah, but we got to dress up. <laughs>